Hello and thank you so much for joining me for this video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to style your hair in this 1950s vintage uh, waves hairstyle uh, using a curling iron. Using a curling iron isn't my favorite technique because it damages the hair and my hair is bleached so it's not the best for it. I usually curl my hair using pin curls because it doesn't damage the hair but a curling iron is a really fast and easy solution for creating this vintage look. I'm gonna be walking you through the process of creating rolls using a modern curling iron. After that I'm gonna show you how I style my hair like this. I gotta tell you every time it comes out a little bit different, especially this time because I just cut my hair this week and this was the first time styling it this way. So I was just trying to figure out where my hair wants to go and finding the right waves for this haircut. First thing you will need for this hairstyle is of course a curling iron. I'm using a 3 quarters inch curling iron or 19 millimeters because I live in Israel and we use the metric system which is a pretty small diameter curling iron because I really want the curls to be tight and I don't want the hair to drop too fast. Also my hair is pretty straight naturally so I try to do as much as possible to keep it curly. I'm also gonna be using a brush which is called a teasing brush but I'm not gonna use it for teasing and a comb a fine tooth comb with a steel tail. I used some bobby pins just to keep things in place and I used these hair clips to keep the rolls tight while they cool. I also used medium heat hairspray, Suavecita shine spray and Suavecita pomade. This cute hair piece is from Bel Air Baby on Etsy. I'll put a link below. Okay, so let's start the styling process. I'm starting with my hair completely dry. I even use a blow dryer to straighten it a bit so it's easier to work with. I'm creating a side part and from that side part I'm creating a line to my ear and putting all of this section up. Also the same on the other side. Basically taking all of the front section and putting it aside for later because we're gonna be starting from the back from the bottom of the back part of the hair. From this first section I created in the bottom of the back of my hair, I'm dividing it into two groups and each group is gonna be a roll. I'm starting by putting it in the curling iron from the top part of the hair and each time rolling it a bit until the ends of the hair are all tucked inside this roll. I can't really tell you how much hair you should put in each of these rolls because it really depends on your hair, your length, your thickness, the volume of your hair, so you kind of need to figure it out on your own, but of course it doesn't, it needs to be like not too much hair, so you can't really curl it and not too little hair, so you don't just like overheat the hair and also do so much extra work for no reason. On each section that I'm rolling, I'm starting from the top part of the hair and rolling it every few seconds until the ends are neatly tucked in and I'm trying to keep the roll as tight as possible. When I remove the curling iron from the roll, I keep the roll tight and then put the clip in. I need it to cool down as tight as possible. Really keep an eye out for those ends and make sure they're curled correctly. If they are not, just curl it again. As you can see, all of the rolls in this back section of the hair are facing downwards. Here is a really good example of how to keep the ends of the hair tucked in. They're kind of, they keep slipping away and I just like push them in again. Thank you. 
the correct amount of time to hold each roll in the curling iron really depends on your curling iron and the heat you're using and your hair of course and the amount of hair you have so there are a lot of variables you just can kind of tell by just touching the hair it needs to be really really hot until you can barely touch it that's the amount of heat you need the roll to be in Each of us also has different amount of hair on different areas of our head which is really weird but you're gonna see when you're doing these rolls that some areas you're gonna need to do a lot of rolls and then in some areas just like one or two will do so keep an eye out for that and just know it's normal and change the amount of uh, curls that you're doing on each part. I'm saying it because in this area, as you can see, I have from some reason more hair than the rest of the head, so I'm doing a lot of rolls. Okay, last roll on the back section of the hair and we've now reached the front section. So this section as well, I'm kind of dividing it into three sections. I'm starting with the side parts. Here's the section where I have less hair, so I'm just doing two quick, uh, very small rolls. Notice how in this area the rolls are facing down but not back. I'm doing the same on the other side. So I've reached the top middle part of the hair. Uh, this one is an area where you can have a lot of different methods of how to roll it. I like rolling it backwards. Here as well, if you don't have a lot of hair or if your hair is short, I would suggest trying to just do full rows, like three rows of uh, rolls but because I do have uh, more hair in this area so I'm just dividing this, this row into two rolls and then because I don't want to create really like partings in this area of the hair I'm kind of creating triangles and doing everything I can just to avoid having parting in the middle of this section because it's gonna be hard uh, to style it later so you can really see now that the front, uh, front section is divided now into three triangles. You can see that by doing this I really created a really smooth front roll. Okay, so this was the last roll. You can add some hairspray just to make it more long lasting. Now that the rolls are done, I would usually wait a few hours and let them cool and set. Or the minimum amount of time would be while I'm doing my makeup. So I would curl my hair before, then do my makeup, then style my hair. But I really want to finish this tutorial and go eat lunch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen the curls and start styling my hair.
This part is pretty straightforward, just take out the clips, loosen the curls. So I've taken all the rolls out except for the top middle part of the hair. I'm now dividing the hair into smaller sections so it's easier to, to work through. And starting from the bottom, I'm taking the curls out and kind of back combing them very very lightly, doing some uh, teasing just to open up the curls and create some volume. This is also gonna be the base for all the waves. So they kind of sit on all of this uh, back combing. I'm taking another section and doing the same. So to the remaining top layer, I'm not gonna do all this back combing, only if I need to, if the curls are too uh, tight or something like that. I'm just loosening them a bit and then taking the brush, the teasing brush as we said, but I'm just gonna use it for the styling. So I'm just kind of finding the waves, I'm brushing through the hair, but notice I'm not brushing it. Uh, trying to make it straight like you normally brush hair I'm kind of brushing it and curling the end in in this area the curls were a bit stubborn so I'm just uh, very quickly uh, back combing and then continuing to do what I was doing so I'm curling the ends in and I'm also kind of pushing the hair up I'm not letting it drop too, too much I'm doing the same on the other side. Notice how I'm using my hand to curl the ends of the hair. I'm not really good uh, doing the back of my hair, usually either I have my husband Alonzo help me with the back or I just don't put too much attention into it and hope it looks okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna use some Suavecita pomade to make everything more slick. It does help a lot taming all the flyaways but also see how it helps um, shape in the waves and kind of connect the whole hair together. I'm adding a bobby pin to keep the hair behind the ear I'm kind of inserting it underneath the hair. Keep brushing and finding the waves. This process takes a while and the more patient you are, the better it's gonna look at the end. I finally reached this top front section, took off the clips and I'm gonna start by back combing. Here I'm doing a more uh, extreme back combing than the light back combing I did uh, at the bottom part of the hair. I'm really making sure the roots are very uh, tightly back combed. You can add some hairspray to make this more durable. Yeah, I always love this part. <laughs> so I'm kind of spreading this. 
and now I'm gonna start um, styling it and brushing it I'm not actually brushing through the hair I'm not opening all of this uh, teasing I'm just kind of um, smoothing the outside layer of it I can add some suavecita to make it even smoother and prevent all the flyaways I'm adding a clip to make sure all of this volume doesn't drop while I continue styling the rest of the hair Notice how in this part I'm starting from the top down like when we were preparing the hair we started from the bottom up here I'm going from the top down I'm starting by styling the volume then the first wave and I'm gonna continue this through till, till the end of the, of the hair of this part you can use the clips to style the waves but it's important to note that when you use this kind of clips you're actually taking away some of the volume so I can kind of use them but I'm really being careful with them and try not to use them too much if you don't care about the volume it's actually a great way to achieve uh, very sculpted waves just use a lot of clips like where I put the brush now, the end of the brush, that's a place you can put a clip in and use some hairspray and you're gonna have perfect sculpted waves but I prefer to have them more uh, bouncy and flowy and have some volume so I don't wanna sculpt them too much and uh, kind of uh, squish them with the clips So this part I'm working on right now is the part I'm always unsure about. Uh, there are many different ways you can uh, style this part. You can either have it continue to the end of the hair or you can do like a little roll. You're gonna see me kind of changing it up as I go along. So I finally gave up on it and just rolled it up. I really like this style as well. I'm just rolling it up, putting it in a clip and then using hairspray to keep it in place. Then I'm styling the hair to have uh, at the end of it also a similar curl so it looks uh, from the same uh, family. So there's two curls, one above the other. Once you're happy with the shape, you can start using some hairspray. I like using medium hold hairspray, so it's flexible and I can kind of change things up as I go along. I'm adding bobby pins in this front wave underneath the hair because I don't want them to be visible. Make sure to use hairspray on the bottom part of the hair to make sure the curls at the end stay tucked in. So I'm making the final touches, taking out the clips. If they left a mark, just use the, the comb or something to kind of break through the hairspray that uh, left the mark or you can use some more hairspray and that way you kind of wet it and, and remove the mark. And last thing is gonna be to add a hair accessory. This usually doesn't go well on the first try so just uh, put it in again.
and last final touch is gonna be the Suavecita Shine Spray. Just spray it very very lightly because you don't want the hair to drop, you just want to add some shine to it. So here's the finished hairstyle. I'm really happy with how it came out. I was kind of struggling just because this is a new haircut. I really changed the shape of my hair, so I needed a second to adjust. I really hope you enjoyed this and this was useful for you. Please let me know in the comments below if you learned anything new. And please subscribe if you like my videos so you get notified when I upload a new video. So as I said in the beginning of this video, Curling iron is not my favorite method, I really like pin curling just because it doesn't damage the hair as much. I have an online mini course coming up really soon all about pin curling and how to achieve this style without using a curling iron or any heat. If that's something you're interested in, please join my mailing list so I can let you know as soon as that happens. Thank you again for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!